Every single month on this YouTube channel, we do a $100 gift card giveaway to speakeepshop.com. Now, how do you enter? Well, it's easy. All you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel, and just like that, you're entered. At the end of the month, I will choose a random subscriber to win the $100, so good luck to all of you guys. However, if you don't want to wait until the end of the month and you want to buy some keeps right now, then just use my discount code ENCODED for 5% off every speaker shop order. Alright, let's get right here in the video now, shall we? Alright, what's guys, Kimmy Coded? So, if you haven't seen this video by SpeedQ Review yet, basically he reacted to a bunch of Rubik's Cube scenes in movies and TV shows. And now that there's a new Netflix documentary coming out about Speed Cubing, I decided, why not we do the same? So today, that's what we're going to be doing. In this video, we're going to be reacting to some Rubik's Cube scenes in movies and TV shows, and this should be a lot of fun. Alright, so this scene is from the movie Snowden, and basically he's trying to get, like, government information uh, from his laptop, and he put it inside an SD card, so he put it inside the Rubik's Cube. Uh, so, pretty subtle, you know, it's pretty cool how you can take off the caps and put a bunch of stuff inside, you know, being really subtle like that. Alright, there he is, doing some of those finger tricks. Probably has better finger tricks than me, not gonna lie. Hey. You ever play with one of these? Yeah, when I was a kid. Yeah. Just try it. It's hard. Alright, so he just tosses it over to the guard, so he could get through without having the Rubik's Cube, like, go through security. Pretty smart. I'm not sure if this is what actually happened, but, you know, it's pretty cool, like, the movie version. I can't figure this out. Oh, trying to uh, take it apart or something. You gotta start with the white cross actually, and then you do the corners. Uh, you guys hear that? The white cross? Looks like we got a keeper working on this movie with some accurate information. Uh, and I feel like cubing is like so underrepresented in like general media that just like seeing the smallest little glimpse like them talking about the white cross just like, you know, makes my little cuber instincts get a little bit excited. Uh, that's like the nerdiest thing I've ever said ever, but uh, that's okay. I love these things. <laughs> hey, have a good weekend, man. Yeah, it looks like he got right through the security, and he did it. <laughs> Alright, next scene is from The Simpsons, let's take a look. Use your main finger on the yellow side, and your other finger on the orange side, and turn it. Okay, wait, okay, so, one finger on the yellow side, one finger on the orange side. So what are, how are we supposed to like turn <laughs> doing this? And then start with diagonal colors? I mean, sure, why not? Okay, what does that even mean, not gonna lie? Uh, but you know what, we'll keep on watching. You gotta start backwards. Oh my god, they're going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> One at a time! Spin the middle side topwise. Topwise. Now I remember why I put this down there in the first place. <laughs> oh my god, he just got so mad. Well, that's the scene. Uh, and what can I say? You know, sometimes Ruby's team can be a little bit frustrating. Like, the thing is, the way you actually solve it is, like, so different from, like, how it looks like you solve it. You know, it looks like you solve it side by side, but in reality, you have to solve it layer by layer. And, you know, you're not really trying to get colors together, you're really trying to get pieces together. Uh, so that's, like, the interesting thing about the cube, that, you know, it isn't really that easy to understand when you're just looking at it. Uh, but once you start playing with it, then you kind of understand it. Our next scene is from The Pursuit of Happiness. Uh, I actually know a lot of cubers that began cubing because they saw this movie. Like, after seeing this scene in, like, movie theater or something, they decided, hey, why not buy a Rubik's Cube? And they did that, um, and they became cubers like that. So pretty cool. Uh, let's watch the scene. I right, got Will Smith uh, at the oh, Rubik's Cube. Wow, you, you uh, really messed it up. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, it, it looks like it, it uh, works around a, a swivel. So the centerpieces never move. So if, it, if it's yellow in the center, that's the yellow side. Right. If it's red in the center, that's the red side. Okay. Yes, yes. You, you can slow down. Oh, so we can drive around all day. Cause I, I don't believe you can do this. Uh, yeah, I can. No, no, you can. Yes, I can. No, you can. I'm telling you, no one can. Yeah, like Will Smith actually knows how to solve Rubik's cube in around a minute or so See, uh, in real life. So you know, it was good, good practice for this scene. <laughs> Dang, no one has like the best cubing face than Will Smith here. You almost have this side. They got oh, that white layer now, the first layer. Okay, look at those finger tricks. Probably has better finger tricks than me also. Oh, you almost had that one. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. Alright, you should be like almost done. Oh, now we're just doing the corners. Almost done with the corners. Oh my gosh, poor guy having to use like this like 2005 Rubik's Cube. <laughs> oh, okay, he's there. Come on, gotta finish the cube quickly. You're almost there. Oh, now I gotta just do that OLL. <laughs> Come on, just do a U prim, U prim. And 
final turn. Let's go. Guys, I love this scene, and you know, I could definitely see, like, if I saw this scene for the first time without knowing how to solve a Rubik's Cube, that would probably, like, inspire me to begin cubing, because, like, the way they portrayed solving Rubik's Cube in this movie just made it seem so cool, like, you know, only the smartest people could do this, uh, so yeah, it was really nice. Alright, now the last thing that we're gonna take a look at today, so I'm not sure if all of you guys know this, but there was actually, like, a Rubik's Cube TV show, like, it was literally about this cartoon talking Rubik's Cube, uh, okay, I'm just gonna show you guys the intro of the TV show, so you guys can understand what I'm talking about. Oh my, this is like the most old school TV show I've ever looked at. And there's the Rubik's Cube. So, okay, hold up. Did you guys see how fast he saw that Rubik's Cube? Uh, Felix, Max, you got some competition, I'm sorry to say. Oh my god, and the face. Oh my, I forgot he had a face. It's kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Yeah, and he just flying around like that, you know. Apparently the Rubik's Cube would do that. Like, okay, I actually haven't seen any, like, actual episodes from this TV show, uh, mostly because it just looks, like, terrible to sit through. But that was the intro of that, and if you guys want to take a look at it, then feel free to search it up. Alright, anyways, that is us reacting to some Rubik's Cube scenes in movies and TV shows. Super fun stuff, and I honestly love watching, like, the Rubik's Cube being portrayed in media. Uh, you know, it's super exciting, and I cannot wait for this Netflix documentary. Alright, anyways, that's all this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.